Yes, good morning. I spoke with a lot of people, including Ann Arbor City officials, who say reducing trash pickup, uh, they say that it is just a conversation starter. Nothing is set in stone, and so they want to look at how they can reduce the city's carbon footprint, but they say there is a lot to take into consideration, including the impact it would have on residents. We would have to have an additional garbage can, but worse than that is that it would be very stinky. It's just me and my fiance and our two cats, so the amount of trash we generate would fit in line with a, um, a more dispersed cadence. So I'm for that, especially with the carbon emissions reduction opportunity. It sounds like it would be problematic, at least during the student move-in and student move-out, because uh, trashes tend to be very, very full on those days. If they really want to do some carbon emission savings, why don't they get recycling actually functioning in Ann Arbor instead of driving everything to Ohio? Ann Arbor residents weigh in on the idea of trash pickup occurring every other week. Right now, it's once every week. But the city's energy commissioner, John Mursky, is drafting a resolution for city staff to explore bi-monthly pickup to reduce carbon emissions. It's nothing that's coming up for a vote before council. Councilwoman Lisa Dish says it's not a proposal, but a conversation starter on how residents can help reduce the amount of solid waste that goes to landfills, which release methane, a greenhouse gas blamed in part for climate change. What we need to do is have people thinking about consumption and have people making robust use of the services that the city already provides for recycling and composting. And we need to expand those services. We're actually in a climate crisis. There's, there's an emergency to reduce these greenhouse gas emissions because they are creating adverse effects uh, on our environment. University of Michigan professor Gregory Keolian says if measures aren't taken, we will eventually start seeing more extreme weather events from drought to forest fires and flooding. So these are all th threats that we are going to be facing uh, in the coming decades and we need to take early action to avoid these most adverse effects of climate change. Now, city officials say that bi-monthly uh, trash pickup isn't about saving money. However, they say it is simply about climate change. Now, the idea does come up within the city plan called the A20 Climate Action Plan. Also, in speaking with Professor Keolian there, he says that, you know, by the trucks going out less frequently, that they are also then emitting fewer fossil fuels. Reporting live this morning, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.